You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne Tha God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some special guests, the cast of Money and Violence. What up, guys? What's, what's good, good? What's good? good. Now, now Welcome I'm, back. I, yeah, I'm slipping. I haven't seen the new episodes of Money and Violence yet. Oh, man. Wow, I only man. saw the but first. I, I saw the first episode of season two so far. It's clear as a bell. Yeah, I, I, I heard the production, I heard the production <laughs> value is <laughs> way, <laughs> way, Yo, way up. Tomorrow, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all got to tune in tomorrow. Now, now I got to watch three. episode one episode tonight. Episode three? Y'all got to tune in. You got to watch it. So, so, man, so it's been three of the new seasons so far? Yeah, we, uh, tomorrow going to be episode three. Okay. And yeah. then to, but then tomorrow episode two comes out on the YouTube channel. Yeah, right. tomorrow right. comes out on um, cloud9tv.net. Uh, cloud then Wednesday it comes out on YouTube. So how does it work now? It drops on title first. Drops on title first uh, Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Seven days later, it goes on our platform, which is cloud9tv.net. Then a day after that, the, the following, that Wednesday, it goes on YouTube. Has being on title helped or hurt the views? Well, I mean, the first five days we did one over 1.3 million views. Oh, so, okay. It didn't, hurt. it didn't hurt at all. And then that just helps when it comes out on the Cloud Nine channel because then people that didn't get a chance to see it, they heard all the buzz. Yeah, and, and aside from that, I mean, I think it just um, made a whole new demographic of um, viewers available to us, just piggybacking off of title subscribers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you see all the other shows that are popping up? I see DC got a show that's everybody got similar. Show. Like yeah. everybody got a show that's kind of similar. It's crazy because um they just did a story on us um on the Fox Five News basically stating that just like you know in the seventies when uh, Martin Scorsese you know when they did Taxi Cab and Scarface because Hollywood wouldn't accept them mm -hmm. like what we did with the money with the money and violence thing basically spawned a renaissance of street cinema. So we started up this whole new renaissance as far as people just grabbing cameras and. Just doing their thing, so it's something we're proud of. Yeah, man, shout out to them too, man. Everybody else doing their thing. You know, shout out to you, man. Keep grinding. Nah, I have to I go back you. and watch some of the first season to mm -hmm. catch back up again because <laughs> you start off with Rafe in the hospital. Yeah, and I yeah, like, okay, yeah. I gotta they, go back and recap. They what got happened. me. I'll get them by the end, though. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> now, how was shooting this time? Because I mean, I seen the opening credits. I mean, you got drones. It's, oh it's man, clear as I'm looking at it like this is crystal <laughs> right here. I'll be honest with you. Like I thought that okay, now we got a production team. I got a DP. I got an AD. <clears throat> Shout out to Henry out of Bonnehole. Shout out to um, Mark, Mark Kelly. Kelly. You know that's um my AD. I thought things were gonna be a lot easier, but the truth is, I'm working. Man, three, four times harder than I did last season. It's a lot, it's a lot, lot harder. Why is it you probably got to shoot more than one take. Chris, talk to scenes, the microphone. Yeah, why is it a lot harder? <laughs> angles. I, I think it's only harder because even though cause we're using more than one camera. Right. So now you got more angles to look from. And we got a lot of mics. Mm -hmm. So you got all the mics, the, the lavaliers, the boom. So when you're editing, it's just so much more work. Mm -hmm. So he, he finds himself doing 16-hour days on the set. And then have to go to the editing suite, even though we got but an let's, editor. But let's also let's also keep in mind that it's harder because I'm very passionate about this project. You yeah, understand? He's gonna so talk about that. <laughs> a lot of times I don't have to be there, mm -hmm. but I choose to be, be there, there only because right. I don't trust nobody with His with baby. my baby. With like, your name. You understand? So at the end of the day, and plus, there are things that people overlook that I'm like, no, this needs to be fixed. This needs to be tightened up. Where it's like people would have just let it slide. Like, I'm not with that. Like, that's smart, because that's how shows get whacked. Shows get whacked yeah. because guys get a little paper, and then they stop being as hands-on with mm -hmm. it as they were mm -hmm. when everybody liked it. Trust me. I'm here. Like, he'll tell you. Like, he'd be like, yo, stop nitpicking. I'm like, look, bro, my name is going to be on this. Like, mm -hmm. you know, my success is everybody's success, but my failure is my own. Like, And then on top of that, he acts in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are women you guys encountered really that nosy? Like, Rafe is in the hospital. And she's in there asking all kind of questions. Who is that? What was he talking about? Did you see who shot you? And she, it felt like a little weird for somebody to ask so many questions. Yeah, I mean, you know, at, at the end of the day, like, she lives in a world outside of raves. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, she doesn't understand that world. So, I can understand because the whole situation with him getting shot, like, that's not the norm to her. As much as that might be normal for those that live in that world. Like, she's outside of that. So, she's just trying to figure things out. And be comfortable with the situation. So only way to get comfortable with something is to be informed. That's why she's asking so many questions. Now, you gotta remember if you watch the old episodes, like you said, her ex-man shot him. Right. So she's trying right. to figure out how he know her ex-man and how that happened. Now, how, it's because of her. How far in advance do you have this written? Um, I have I, I, I have it written, I'd say, uh, over three quarters of the season already. Now the reason that 
I write it as I go along is only because part of the appeal of the show last season was the fact that we were able to stay relevant with right. whatever was going on. Like we had the Eric Garner situation. Um, our Christmas episode was right around Christmas, Labor Day Parade. Mm -hmm. Our episode aired the next day. So I like that. I, I feel that it, it makes people feel like it's, it's real, you understand? So mm -hmm. due to that, just in case if anything happens in the news or whatever, I like to include that in the script, especially if it's socially conscious. Like we, we love to touch on things like that because mm -hmm. money and violence is an urban drama with a heart. Y'all can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Money and violence. Money and violence. <laughs> violence is an urban drama with a heart. With a heart. Now, yes. now, now do you feel like, um, it, was it, is you still doing it weekly? Then you have to take... Yeah, yeah, yeah it's still, weekly. still, every Tuesday at eight. I'm saying, but do you write it? Do you write a new episode every week? No, I'm, I started writing four episodes ahead of what we started shooting. Okay. But, um, yeah, four episodes of what we started shooting. So we're about... Four episodes ahead. I heard, I, I was, I, I guess Angelia or somebody was playing it this morning. I heard you say something interesting. You was like, money, like, be careful with this money because it's the greatest thing that can happen to you and it's the worst thing that can happen to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it, it's sort of like the journey that we're going through right now. I find myself working so hard to change, but I also find myself working just as hard to remain the same. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's what people don't realize with this whole money thing, you know. People are so captivated. Money makes the world go around. No, people's dreams do. It just so happens we get money in the process of achieving our dreams. And money is the reward. It's never the motivation. Mm -hmm. and once you get that twisted, you're lost. Mm -hmm. So so uh, is there enough money to go around now? No, not at all. Not at all. You know, listen. Listen. Listen, man. Let me see. Four yards. I loan you a hundred. You're going to have to get that back. I <laughs> no, but um, you have to understand, you know, like I said last time, whatever money they gave us, we reinvested back into this project. Right. You know, as the captain of the ship is for me to make the sacrifices, mm -hmm. all of the actors are being paid. As mm -hmm. an actor, I'm not being paid. As a director, I'm not being paid. Mm -hmm. You understand? But it's for me to take care of my crew, man, at the end of the day. So, you know, with time, we're not rushing. Like, with time, you know, we're getting our business right so that when the time comes that the money does come, we all going to eat. It's got to be difficult now, though, because y'all can't do it guerrilla style like y'all did the first time. I mean, it's not difficult because now we have more hands on deck. Gotcha. So whereas, although we do have to get permits, we do have to get clearances, I have a team of people that take care of that for us. So How does that affect your creativity? Um, I don't let it. It, 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 doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't only because I'm able to do more now. Season gotcha. one, I wasn't able to get a hospital. Mm. You know, I wasn't really able to get cops. cops and things like that, you know. But now, like I said, I have a team of people that, look, this is what I need. You know, the uh, opening scene of um, of episode <clears throat> one, we had the bank robbery. Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't able to do yeah. things like that season one. So just as much as it's more work, it allows me to do more as well. Yeah. And it's interesting because I'm sure a lot of places probably want to be featured, like a lot of the restaurants. Uh, and I mean, the restaurants and stuff. Yeah, definitely, yeah definitely. but. And when like, you come on, come guys, you can shoot here. And yeah, yes and no. Some people yeah, still front. Some people definitely charge you. Because of the name of money and violence, some people are still front. Yeah. Yeah, some people definitely charge you. You know what I mean? Like a fee to do that. But we try to get everything on the arm. And the way we try to give back is is to um make sure that we put people's name in the credits, make mm -hmm. sure we establish where we at so people can, you know, drive traffic to the places that we use. So. Also, also as well, like, you know, we're on the breakfast club. We're out there. Like, people under the impression that we got this $10 million checks, and now it's like, pay me, pay me, pay me. And it's like, look, bro, like, this is still coming out of my pocket. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so we're trying to save costs wherever we can. Yeah, we got a check, and we didn't put any money in our pockets. The money went straight to production. And that that's the thing. You know, we always thought and said to ourselves, the big check is going to come. As long as we be patient and just wait, it's gonna happen. We mm -hmm. just didn't want to sell it off, sell off the property for it. We want to make sure that we own enough of it and own all of it to walk in the door. Then when we ready to make that move, we can make an initial move that's gonna be our best move. So that's how we did it. Whose idea was that to, to keep all that? Because most people would have sold it off immediately oh, when it came no. with, the, with the nothing. From the jump, that was my thing. That's like, it. Look, bro, I, I need ownership. You know what I mean? I need create creative control. Because you have to understand, like, Money and Violence was a it was a it was a passion project. It wasn't anything that I did to become famous. It was anything I did to get rich. Like I saw that there was something missing out there with this younger generation, which was just, you know, the voice of a guardian or some type of OG. When I grew up, I had OGs on my block. They constantly fed me, fed me knowledge. I feel that that's missing from the culture right now. Absolutely. So I created a project, whereas they can learn from. You understand? Where, yeah, they watch it. All right, y'all love this gangster culture. I'm going to give y'all that. But within all of that, I'm going to give y'all nugget, nuggets of wisdom. 
you know, that's going to basically be implanted into your brain without you even realizing that you're learning. So what was you, the turning you, point? What was the right. turning point when people really started watching it? Because I'm sure it was, it was, a, it was a struggle. It was a grind. What was that one thing was like, oh, now this is watching? I'd say it was when we got to what, episode three? Yeah, three, four. Yeah, around three, four. Mm -hmm. um, that's when the, the buzz started. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, but it was a little buzz. But when did you first get off of some because of <laughs> money and violence? <laughs> that's when you know you was popping. Yeah. Oh, you the guy money and violence? Nah, yeah, you, you know what? Had. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, so. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what we, uh, yeah, that's what we, that's, that's what we call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, nah, I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story, right? So one morning I wake up and um, I get a, I check my emails and I get, um, it's like you got an app mention on Twitter. So I'm like, app mention, uh, whatever. So I look and it says Michael Rappaport. So I'm like, what? I go on Twitter. So I see, I love the show, thumbs up emoji. I'm like, what the hell? I go to the profile, 60,000 followers following four people. I'm like, this ain't Michael Rappaport. Mm -hmm. Whatever, I forget about it. Later that afternoon, Styles calls me. He's like, yo, Rock Nation's having a uh, boxing match at Madison Square Garden. You got to go. So I'm like, I don't want to go. He's like, yo, you got to go. So he's like, yo, let's just go. So we go pick up the tickets from Will Call. Walking down the aisle, I just hear, oh, shit, it's you. I turn around, it's Michael Rappaport. <laughs> and he's like, yo, I sent you an ad mission this morning. You ain't even reply. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, is this really happening? You said, get like, your followers up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, you know, but that you was. You don't even got a check. Honestly, that was. <laughs> not verified. That was certified. Because that event was the first time I had people like, oh, shit, it's outside Rafe. Can I take us, a picture yeah. with you? You know, outside of us. So. It was just like an eye opener, and and it's crazy because I'm just such a regular guy, you know what I mean? And people are just like, "Yo, how come you out here?" Like they'll see me in East New York, Brownsville, they'll see me everywhere, and I'm like, "Bro, I've been living in Brooklyn all my life. That's not gonna stop, you know." But it's just so crazy to me that people no longer see me as me, regular person. And I'm just a regular. They're like, what are so you, you haven't moved to Jersey here? yet? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I mean, we're in a nice part of Brooklyn, but <laughs> I'm moving. I'm still, I'm still sticking to hold my gun. God was born in Brooklyn. I'm moving. Oh, God was born in Brooklyn. God said you can move. See that? Was born in Brooklyn. But the good thing about Brooklyn, though, it's nice parts of Brooklyn now. Like you don't have to live in Brownsville. Nice parts of Brooklyn. I live downtown, so I'm good. That's right. Nice parts of Brooklyn. Nice parts of Brooklyn. Right. <laughs> the way everything is at, it's just, you know, I need yeah. to. My neighborhood's still on the uh, coming up, but, yeah. you know, it's fine. But, yo, <laughs> y'all got to check out the, um, shout out to Benny. He put me in the um, Tupac movie. Benny yeah. Boom? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What role yeah. you playing? Yo, you know, I, I got to play a Brooklyn boy. Um, <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn, so. so you done shot at Biggie? I don't, me I shot at you I, shot I, you Haitian run. Jack? Now, nah, why everybody keep asking me that? Because I'm Haitian? Yeah. <laughs> you ever see? Y'all look alike now that I think about it. He was just fat. Yeah, yeah I saw him in face him. Yeah, yeah, I've been going back and forth with Jack, too, because um, the whole movie about his 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 story, you know, he, he he was asking me to direct and write it, so that's up in the air as well. Yeah, we got a lot of things, man, though, so I need the people, you know, keep the money and violence whole movement going. We got moneyandviolenceshop.com. Y'all can get all your money and violence uh, apparel. 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 Like we got, this? Yeah, we got, but well, we, we got, got some, nice we got stuff. Some fly, we, we got, got some, some fly, fly stuff, too. though. You know what I mean? We got the regular money and violence stuff, but we got some fly stuff. So that's a money and violence shop.com. We got the emojis coming. We have an app, a video game app coming before the What's end of the season. What's a money and violence emoji? A chalk outline? <laughs> it's a jaw. <laughs> it's a jaw. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, so we had that. The app, the app is coming. The video game is coming. Um, we also, Mo's uh, going to be directing a couple of things. We started a, a production company where we're doing some things outside of this. So we have the, the thing that we talked about the other night with the, My Brother's Keeper. We're going to yep. be do, doing that. President Obama's get, initiative. Make sure you say Obama. Yeah, I don't get so President, President Obama had a meeting with the guys for money and violence. Nah, 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 nah. nah, 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 nah. Money and violence is in the White House, baby. Brooklyn, Brooklyn is in the White House. Bring up the Charles suit, you know what I mean? And we just working on, we got a lot of other deals going on outside. Oh, that's the book. I've also I've also been going back and forth with um Delson Highway and Kevin and Kevin Childs as well. Um, as far as his backstory and his his film, working on that. So it's it's a lot going on, man. Shout out to my dude Christ too, and um and RX. They coming out with the Respect the Jux movie. Look out for that too. The next um season I'm I'm hearing is going to actually be on television. God willing. God willing. God willing. Yeah. Actually, this this season is gonna disappear probably in another two months. Really? Yeah, yeah. this mm -hmm. season and first well, season is going to disappear. It's going to be on, um, like, you can go to uh, iTunes, iTunes Amazon. And, and, and download it on iTunes and Amazon. That's the no, first start. But it'll and be then, off YouTube. And then it'll be off YouTube, and that's then we exciting. transition into television. Um, that's our deal with Lionsgate. So we're right. transitioning into, like, Netflix or, like, Hulu or 
you know, Showtime, Stars, yeah. HBO, those that type of platform. Yo, that's, that's what you want to take it? Check that's that's my video we'll too. Loving the 90s. <laughs> Shout out to Benny yeah. again. There you go. <laughs> you was in Tink video one. too? Yeah, and, yeah, and he was, was in Jadenia's yeah. video. Yeah. Uh, I told him, stop doing so many videos. Yeah, don't do it. Don't turn into a video fixing like that. Hey, hey. Don't turn into a video. You should do no King Magazine's I'm like, damn. I'm like, hold on. I got to think about it. I got to chill with the video. You know what's interesting to me to see people being critical of the fact that it looks better now. You know yes. what I mean? That it's, I, I'm like, but didn't you, people complain before? They were like, oh, you know, it's so gritty. But then now people are saying, oh, we missed that gritty look of money and violence. Retarded. But you know what? I'm not even upset at it, man. Because one thing I've learned, especially in the last 12 months, is... The public does not look for a reason to like you. They look for a reason not to like you. Fact. Yeah. So at the end of the Fact. day, people are always going to talk. You just don't always have to listen. You're like, oh, they act better now. I liked it better when they were. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I want to see that can with the wire. So, that, like, come on, man. Like, well, I'm missing yeah. shooting nothing yet. Yeah, They're yeah. going to have something to say regardless. Yeah, so at least exactly. give them something regardless. good to talk about. Yeah, exactly. People always love the underdog. And then when you're not the underdog anymore, it's no, like, we're still the underdog. Oh, I'm still the underdog. Let me tell you something. Believe that. As soon as y'all get the network, it's oh, they sold out. Yeah. Yeah. They sold they're out. Like, they sold but sold. this is what's crazy. Like, I saw people say, oh, this is what Lionsgate did. They changed it. I have 100% creative control. Like, what are y'all talking about? Right. No, nobody's influences in this season other than mine. So it's the exact same thing. And yes, the production quality has been stepped up a lot, but it's still the same rawness and grittiness. So, you know. And now you got to get music clearances. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we have to get music clearances, clearances clothing, clothing clearances. Everything. Right. Mm -hmm. And the first season, y'all was just using if, all kind of music. Like, if we have a scene so and there's a painting and, on the wall, we, we have, have to, to get a clearance for that oh, painting. Oh, you have to go yeah, back really. and fix yes. that? Go back in season one and yeah, re-clear everything. everything that we had. That's what took so long. I don't feel sorry for y'all. Y'all got to hit show. That's what you both have. That's how many beats I done gave up already, though. Damn, for free? Of course. You get the clearance. Though, right? This money yeah. of violence. Right, if not, he won't he get, gonna get that up. <laughs> <laughs> what you said? <laughs> <laughs> I hear what he said. Did you have to change any of the characters from the first season nah. for the second um, season? Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, we we had to recast one person. Um, yeah, listen, but not because we had not because we wanted, wanted to. You know, it was a it was, it, it, it was just a struggle. Like a lot of people you from the money. outside looking in, yeah, man, think that we're getting all of this money, and then you know, people feel that. They want to be paid a certain amount, and I just think it's not fair to the rest of the cast, especially when everybody did the first season for free. You know, but I'm not one to ever get upset at someone for trying to get something. So it's like, look, this is what I can do, and if you don't agree with that, no hard feelings. Like, you know, you can go Good your way and you. I'll go mine. Good luck to you. You should have waited two more years to do that, though. Two more years. <laughs> that needs to do that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the, the, one thing, the one thing that baffles me is if you know me, you know that I always have everyone else's best interests at heart before my own. You understand? At the end of the day, like, we're on this ship, and it's 500 people on this ship, and it's not just my cast. It's all their loved ones. It's everybody. And the thing with me as the captain of the ship is if I catch one person poking a hole in the boat, I got to throw you overboard because mm. it's 499 other lives at stake. You know what I mean? So Are yeah, girls poking holes in condoms? Because they think y'all getting that money like that? Oh, nah. Uh -uh. <laughs> crazy. Episode, episode four. <laughs> episode, episode three. <laughs> it's all good, man. Yo, make videos, man. Getting videos. Don't worry about these guys. <laughs> has Hope, has Hope, what kind of influence does Hove have? Does he... Any any creative I input? Mean, I mean, Jay, Jay, you know, Jay loves the show, and he gave us the opportunity. We're not really the ones that are looking to get our hands held through a situation. Mm -hmm. You know, we 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 go get us, man. Like yeah. once you open that door for us, we gonna like, work just the pass room us, ourselves. Pass us the ball, and we gonna score. That's it. That's it. We don't need you to walk us nowhere. Nothing. Just pass us the ball. Yeah. Right. Well, we appreciate you guys. Is everybody gonna make it through the end, to the end of the season? You'll have Watch to wait and that. see. Yo, I'm telling y'all, episode three. three. Tomorrow eight. Tune in. Tomorrow eight o'clock. Oh, yeah, you guys can come in. watch it at Milk River with us, too, for those that want to come see. Yeah, I go there all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So we hope to see you tomorrow night <laughs> at 8 o'clock. I have no at problem seven. with that. I might come to Milk River tomorrow. Be yeah, yeah. Like, this ain't, that's not in the hood. I'll pull up. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many cast members will be mad if they get killed off this season? Y'all about to go to TV and oh. you going to kill me off online? Y'all yeah. better have some type of dream sequence in yeah, the future. I mean, but but at the end at the end of the day, like, I mean, if it's if it's for the sake of the storyline and you truly a team player, then you need to understand. like That you got to die. Listen, when I got shot at the end of the season, I was seriously considering like how good would it be to the storyline if I didn't come back and I died you know and 
It's just for the sake of the storyline and the show. If that's what was best for the show, then that's what would happen. You, nah, Yo, you would make an ill ghost, though. He just Because you got all in words of wisdom. Just, like, you just talking anymore. He didn't want to act anymore. Like, man, let me just kill myself. No, you know, I'm not. Listen, I do a lot. And the acting thing, it's just one more thing for me to do. Like, as writer, director, overlooking edits, clearances. and Like, that's just one more thing for me to do. So that's one more hour I have to wake up early to memorize lines. You complaining now that you got a hit TV show on network. And you're like, damn, I'm so happy I'm the producer. No, 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 listen, don't ever take what I'm saying as complaining because I, I stay conscious of the fact that a year ago I would have died to be in the position I am now. Right. So yeah. there isn't, no matter how hard I work, no matter how many hours I put in, there isn't a night that I don't look to the sky and say thank you. I'm going to send you something. It says Shonda Rhimes TED Talk. Right. Dead ass. I watched it this weekend. It's, it's everything you're saying right now, she was talking about. It's ill. Oh, oh, oh yo, big up. I, I love that interview you did the <laughs> other day. I don't know who the white girl was. Tommy oh, yeah. oh, Tommy, Tommy Lauren. Lauren. Yeah, yeah that and, was you know, a good one. If and wait. anybody don't know you and they just hear you, you know, spew your rhetoric on radio, but what I loved about it, you had so many facts in your conversation that that was actual things and she couldn't even pick up on it. No, and it showed how that. smart you were. It showed that you just don't You don't just talk. give people dunk at a day talk, for no reason. Absolutely. You really thought about behind what you're saying, so... That was really dope. I they, appreciate it. They that. blocked all that on YouTube. White man took that down. <laughs> White man got that uh, removed. Sure, sure, come back. <laughs> sure, sure, come back. KKK it, to the Panthers. Really She's like, wild. Yeah, that's I'm crazy. Bugged, bugged well, that's crazy. Well, there you have it. It's the cast of Money and Violence. You can check them every Tuesday night on Title. And then seven days after that, you can see it on Cloud9 oh, TV. TV. Or you can follow me on that. Instagram at Cloud9 TV underscore. Plug. Oh, here we go. Plugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the we, Breakfast Club. What's up? Say, look at him. Uh, <laughs> like we, got, we got this thing, right? Everybody be trying to get followers. And, you know, I ain't got no followers. Yeah, follow me, man. I need more bookings, man. <laughs> Ray <laughs> underscore day nine. Thank That's you. the video, Vicky. Yeah, he yeah, wants to be a movie. She's yeah. the video, Vicky. <laughs> exactly. She styles now one one. <laughs> Ace underscore general underscore. Yo, they're going to black all that out. It's the cast of Money and Violence. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.